What's good, everybody? My name is Kane. Um, I'm here with a tutorial because I was searching and searching on Google for this information and I couldn't find it. I've seen it as a feature of uh, Character Creator 3 and I just didn't understand anything about uh, 3D modeling to be able to get it done. And I finally put the shit together in my head and, I, and now I'm able to do it and I want to show other people how to do it. Inside of this program, you won't need to go to Blender, you won't need to go to Maya, you won't need to go to ZBrush, anything like that. You can do everything that I'm about to do directly in this program, export it out to the game engine of your choice. Uh, me personally, it's going to be unreal. Uh, so part one, I'll show you how to get the mess set up and get it cleaned up and get it ready for export. And then part two, we'll import it into Unreal and retarget some animations and go from there. So uh, uh, bear with me. I'm new to tutorials, even though I have a couple on my uh, YouTube page, I still don't, I'm still not a good, I still curse and shit like that. So excuse me, uh, I'll get that together in the future. Um, but yeah, I, I'm gonna show you guys what the end product could possibly look like. I already created some of my own FPS arms. Ah, uh, oh, fuck, I gotta turn that down. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys what I've already done. And you can see the met. And the craziest thing, man, is that you can t take. Okay, so. I, the, you can see the whole mesh is still here. You can still mess with everything. You can bring the arms closer and further away. Um, you can still tweak things on the arms. So you still have freedom on all the arms, um, as well as being able to go in here and take a skin like, uh, I don't want to get banned by YouTube for my video for the naked shit. But let's just say I want to do this scrawny male skin on there. I could load that up. And now, um, whenever it finishes its algorithm. Um, oh, this is going to take a minute. I probably should have done this. Um, I'm going to pause the video here and come back whenever this shit finishes. Okay, so... That took a, that is something that, you know, I maybe because I got it on high, so it had to b bake all of those textures in high, like 4K or whatever the resolution is for high, maybe 2K. But yeah, like right now, okay, so I go in here and I go to project and I could go ahead and save these arms as another template. Uh, we'll just call this white male arms right there, boom. And these are rigged and ready to be animated right now. So it's a beautiful thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start a new project um, and let you guys see how easy this is to get this mess cleaned up inside of here. Okay, and I, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Now, let me show you guys a little bit about the sliders and stuff too while I'm in here. Um, so you can go in here and you can change the entire actor to, um, let's just change it to a male. Oh, let's go full body to male. Maybe change her face too, because we don't want that, that chick face. Um, I don't like the CC3 or the CC1. I'm gonna do the CC3 base male. All right, cool. We'll leave it at that. Who cares that the face is, is hideous? Still got tits. Um, I guess I could reset the, uh, yeah, reset it completely to normal so that I don't get the, because this is all additive. Like if it had titties on there, there's gonna be titties. Okay, so here we go. Now we can get rid of the bra without YouTube fucking my life up. I am trying to become a YouTuber slash, you know, whatever. Uh, we'll leave the spanks on, bro. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to go here and get a good T-pose, man. 
And look how fast that was. You didn't have to set up the pose or anything. So th that's the easiest way to get started. You set up a T pose, press F to go into a front ortho uh, orthographic view, um, get yourself lined up. And then you want to go to the scene tab and go to your character's model. And instead of this skin, I'm going to go ahead and just put it as smooth, right? Um, <clears throat> now, you, you go here, I'm sorry, you go here to the Modify tab and you go to Edit Mesh. And j honestly, guys, we're damn near done. I got Ignore Backfaces turned off right now because I want to just get a lot of the chunks out of there. So you just go ahead and boom, you hide that. You boom, you hide that. You go straight down his chest right here. Boom, you hide that. Let's go ahead, turn him around. Get this, uh, no, probably not that high. I'm not gonna make it as clean as mine's are uh, because that, take, that takes a little bit more time and effort, but I will clean it up a little bit, you know? You go ahead and get this. Oops, don't want that one. So the I'm holding down the shift button while I'm selecting. You can see it brings up a plus sign, meaning that it's going to add to my selection. And I go ahead and hide that. And I'll go to the back here and do the same right here. And that too, we'll hide those, boom. Um, so yeah, that's the first step, pretty much damn near done, right? Do you want to take more time to clean up the, the faces and stuff here to make sure that it, it looks clean? But you get out of that, and now you can go ahead and delete these because there's no penis that'll be shown. And uh, we go into here, we want to do the same thing. We want to edit mesh, go to face, uh, uh, uncheck, ignore back faces. This will be checked on by default and you just go ahead and hide that. Go to the teeth, select all that, hide that. Now, there's nothing but the arms. It looked great. And now we're at a state where um, we can go ahead and export this because we're pretty much done. So I'll set up the export and then we'll go into the next part of this tutorial. I don't know how long this video is going to be running, but I feel like I've been recording for a pretty long time right now. Uh, so first thing you want to do is um, go to edit, I'm sorry, go to export. We're going to go to FBX character. Uh, we're going to take this and set it to unreal. You don't want to embed the textures uh, and you only want to include the mesh. There's no motion here, so don't include the motion and you want to delete the hidden faces, this will reduce your uh, triangle count substantially because we just deleted most of the fucking triangles. So from there, you want to go to export. It, uh, it gives you a warning saying if you alter anything with the base character, like the UVs, the mesh, or the T-pose, you can't bring it back in here. But we're not trying to bring it back in here. We're trying to go to Unreal. So we just hit OK on that. Um, I guess I'll uh, put this in a tutorial folder. Tutorial and a tutorial arms. And boom, we got to export. Um, takes a little bit of time, but it's usually pretty fast. It's been exported. I can go to that folder and you can see that it's been exported right there. It's got the JSON file for the auto setup, uh, which is a plugin that you want to have for Unreal. If you got CC3, I'm pretty sure you got the, the fucking auto setup plugin for Unreal. But if you don't, I'll talk about that in the next video. But yeah, so we got our uh, export and oh shit, we'll get on to the next one.